Hi, it's Angelica Allen here. I am a stage three back cancer survivor and a quantum health coach. And today I'm going to be talking about something that I see stopping people from changing their habits that are perhaps not benefiting them to replacing that with habits that will be filling their cup and benefiting them. When I was diagnosed with cancer in 2018, I realized I had many habits that were toxic to me, not only physically, but also mentally and emotionally. And I needed to change those habits if I wanted to heal myself and support my body through chemotherapy treatment. But how did I go from going through this, you know, a certain set of habits that I had been practicing my whole life for 38 years to changing my habits every single day? You know, bear in mind that I had gone through an emergency surgery, so physically my body was very, very depleted. I was exhausted. I was recovering. I was healing. So I wasn't at the peak performance at all to be tackling anything physically, mentally, or emotionally. But I also knew that I couldn't wait any longer, that I needed to tackle those habit changes there and then. Otherwise, I wouldn't really stand a chance in surviving the 12 sessions of chemotherapy that I had to endure. So I see and I speak to so many people that are waiting for that perfect moment. They're waiting for the perfect circumstances. They're waiting to to get stronger, to feel stronger. They're waiting to have less stress in life. They're waiting for life to be easier. They're waiting not to have any obstacles so they can fully focus on their health or their relationship or their work or whatever they're wanting to change. But the truth is, we need to stop waiting if you want to change our lives. You know, life is always going to be busy today, even more so. Life is always going to be throwing things at us. If we keep waiting for that perfect moment, you are never going to change what you eat, how you exercise. You're never going to change, you know, the habits that you know are toxic to you. You know, for me, it was very much, you know, at the beginning, forcing myself to doing things that I hadn't done for my whole life. You know, forcing myself to go for a walk around the block, even though I felt that I was exhausted and I felt sick and I felt unwell. For me, it was acknowledging that I was angry in every situation, that I'd react to things angry all the time. For me, it was very much becoming aware of every thought or feeling like I was a victim, feeling like, why me? Why do I have cancer? Why did I have to go through this? And really taking control of my thoughts. When you're changing your habits, physical, emotional, or mentally, it's not an easy process. It's not an overnight process. It's not that whole instant gratification that everybody is seeking out in the world these days. It's not like just like pressing a like button. It's different. You have to take full responsibility and ownership. You need to be all in. You need to be prepared to doing things that you don't want to do. For me, that was absolutely key at the beginning so I could form those new habits. You know, I didn't go from somebody who never looked after herself to somebody who loved herself and loved her morning routine and was a morning person from one day to another. It was a step-by-step process. But I also did not wait to become that person overnight. I started taking small steps, everything that I could do each day. And like I said, sometimes all I could do was to go around the block for a little walk. But that started planting the seed inside my body, mind, and soul that I loved myself, that I was worthy, that was enough. And that was creating different neural pathways in my brain. That was sending different signals and forming different habits every single day. Before I knew this is what I did, I exercise every day. Before I knew this is what I did as part of my self-love practice. Before I knew I was doing all of that, without having to force myself to do it, this became my habits. If you are in a position that you want to change your physical health or your mental, emotional habits, or if you are in a position you want to change something in your life that you're not happy with, perhaps it's your work or a relationship, and you feel that you are exhausted, you're stressed out, and you want to, you know, you need, you know deep down that you need to change. You start with your habits. We are what we eat, we are what we think, we are what we do. And if you don't start creating different habits, you can't create a different version of yourself. You can't create a different life. You can't create a different feeling in your body. 
And if that's where you are at, I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions, please leave me a question below and I would love to answer them. But also, if you are really, really open to having a discussion on how do you go about changing your habits. Perhaps you have tried already everything and you haven't been able to be consistent like most of my clients. Most of my clients say to me on the sales call, Angelica, you know, I have an issue. I can't follow through with everything. You know, I can't, I, I've tried many other things and I, it hasn't worked. If that's where you are at, but you are committed and you are Ill, willing to change things for real this time and you are kind of all in and you are over being exhausted, being stressed out, being unhappy and not being fulfilled. You know, let's have a chat. There is a, a link below. We can book a call with myself and we can have, have a chat to see if we are a good fit and if I can help you. But thank you so much for watching this video. And if that resonates with you and if you feel that perhaps somebody needs to listen to this message, share this video as well. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. But the key message here is stop waiting. Habits are not formed overnight. You've got to be willing to do at the beginning what you are not used to it or potentially you don't like to. Stop waiting for that perfect, you know, feeling of, oh, I would love to eat healthily. I would love to exercise every day. Oh, I wake up and I can't wait to go for a run. That does not exist, not for you and not for anybody else. You know, it's very easy for us to be looking at people and thinking, you know, they were born like this. They were not born like that. You know, they were, they created those habits. They created themselves as like that. You know, to be healthy these days, it takes practice. It takes consistency. It takes really some dedication and time and effort. Because the world out there, it's not promoting health. You know, with the foods and with, with the stress and with everything that is around us. You are the only one that can change that for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.